Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday and I've had a very productive morning. So far it's 11.45 and I woke up, did my quiet time, actually like said I was gonna like put clothes on immediately and like do a balance boss course and like start editing a video at my desk so I feel like more productive. So I did that, I did the goals to action one and it was great and I've just been doing laundry as I've realized that you probably can hear the dryer I'm going. Empty the dishwasher and I finished editing this vlog and posted it, which is great. I actually plan on posting it way sooner because it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I plan to post it like Saturday or Sunday, but we had a crazy weekend with just a bunch of family things. So I ended up doing it today and I actually kind of like it because I'm able to wake up and I have like a vlog to get up and that's like my main task of the day. Now obviously I'm vlogging, but I have an intro, intro of this vlog because my SD card has like no storage. So I had to like delete all the clips off, off of it from that vlog that I posted. I wanted to wait till I got it up just to make sure it was like ready to go and just in case I needed to get the clips again, you know? Anyways, so now I'm starting the vlog, it's 11.45. I'm probably gonna eat lunch here soon. I um, uploaded the vlog and then I've been editing it in the morning, like a little montage that you've been watching for this one because I wanna get this video up way sooner than I got the other ones. Normally I do post like, if I'm doing like a Friday vlog, I try to post on like Saturday because I'm normally editing as I go, but that's what's been going on. I feel like I look so tired even though I've been awake for a very long time. I just haven't been sleeping that great. Today's a Monday, I'm just, you know, doing the usual Monday things, house chores, vlogging, the Bachelorette finale is tonight, which is very exciting. It's a three hour finale, so it's gonna be very long. So I'll probably do a little recap tomorrow of our final thoughts of everything. Also, I'm sitting at my desk and Ethan's bookcase is behind me. It's getting back, I feel like we're a little too close. Um, but my weekend was so fun. We had a wedding shower, a birthday party, and then Ethan's birthday is Thursday. So we had his like birthday little dinner at his parents' house yesterday. And then we'll obviously me and him will celebrate his birthday on his birthday. And then we're doing a little birthday get together at my parents' house this weekend. So anyways, it was just a full family weekend. So last night we got home from like the dinner and I took a nap. And he took it out. It's been a beautiful morning. If you saw my montage, it was so sunny coming through the windows, which is my favorite morning. When I open up, when I make the bed, open up the blinds, and it's just a beautiful sunny day. My favorite. So, anyways, just thought I would intro the vlog. Thank you for coming. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I make faith and lifestyle content. I'm 22. I live in Alabama with my husband. So, if you want to see wedding content and married content, this is the channel you should subscribe to. I've done quite a few wedding videos and I've also just like my vlogs have married content in them. Normally on Mondays, like I don't really have much cause I'm just like cleaning and stuff or like doing laundry and things. But like normally I do like new recipes and I have a couple new recipes this week I wanna try. I have a like shrimp pasta recipe and then like a chicken and rice in the crock pot. So if you wanna see those, they'll be in the next few vlogs. I think I'm going to like see how they go. I'm excited. Also I, today I need to buy a new SD card because clearly I need like, I need one because I'm like running out of storage. It's crazy cause like the footage is that you take, I feel like isn't very long. It's just like when you take like a montage clip, you're taking like sometimes like 10 minutes of footage for just like 30 seconds of it like sped up. So that's been my Monday. It's been very productive. I love productive Mondays and so. And also to be fun to have another productive Monday vlog because I feel like people like those vlogs because I have do them quite often. But also, I don't know if you can hear, but my neighbors next door are like building onto their house or something. Don't really know, but it's so loud. <laughs> they like start like literally the crack of dawn. That's a bit dramatic. They were starting at like eight this morning. If you have specific videos that you're wanting to watch, like if you're a new subscriber and you have like videos of mine you wanna watch, but you don't know where to start, I have playlists of like different things. So I have like daily vlogs, like, like my Product Mondays or just like day in my life vlogs, I have those there. And then I have days in my life. So if I've vlogged like a few days in my life, I have a playlist for that. I have a faith playlist, a wedding playlist, and I think that's it. So just so you can easily find all the stuff. I can make like a home playlist. So like all the vlogs that have like home updates and stuff and like renovations and things that could be fun. But I've just made a few playlists so it's easier for you to find if you're looking for specific content for my channel, so. So back in the same spot, I took a little lunch break. I had leftover McDonald's from the other day. I was gonna make a PB&J, but then I was like, this is in the fridge, might as well eat it. I finished the laundry and I've been just editing a little bit. Also ate a leftover donut because we had donuts yesterday for um, Ethan's birthday. So I had one of those, it was delicious. I used to be super good at like, I would have this, I wouldn't drink two of these a day, but I would have at least this whole thing drank. 
by like after lunch, but it's currently one and I'm at about 9.30. So I'm really slacking on the water intake. And I know, like I can tell that I need to be drinking more water. Like I'm really slacking. Oh, also vacuumed this morning because I didn't vacuum yesterday and our floors were absolutely disgusting. I kind of want to like get ready and film a couple Bible studies or at least like plan some Bible studies. So maybe I'll do that and film them tomorrow. We shall see. Because I kind of want to do some on the book of Matthew, but I just need to pick up the chapters and kind of what I want to talk about. Also, I listened to but What's Next with Michelle Reed. I listen every Monday. I listened to it this morning and it was with Dr. Genovia or like she says it differently when she says her own name, she says it differently, but it's with Dr. Genovia, which is a skincare. She's a doctor and she has a skincare brand. And it was really good, really informative, but like really enjoyable to listen to. So I really enjoyed that. hold for a while in the social security office so i got my social security card in the mail but i didn't get to my marriage certificate like marriage license back so i was calling them about it and they said it should have been sent out so i'm hoping that it wasn't just like i like threw it away but like every time i will look at the mail i make sure it wasn't from the social security office so i don't know but that's when i was on hold but i'm just i was just sitting here eating popcorn what you need to while i waited on them to call to answer the phone and still didn't get an answer i gotta wait another 24 hours so anyways that's what's going on <laughs> the next day and it's time for my bachelorette recap it was a three-hour finale and i definitely felt it could have been way shorter like i don't know why it was so long katie does end up like she goes on a overnight date with blake decides she wants to be with blake he ends up proposing to her so she picks blake which is great but in the after the final rose part where she talks to greg one thing i don't understand why they didn't have greg and her talk in the beginning of the episode and get it over with probably because they wanted us to wait on it but at the end she talked to greg and she just shoot him a new one and i just felt like it was really uncalled for which was just really rude and i was kind of very disappointed in the way that she acted towards greg so felt really bad for him in that whole scenario but she picked blake she's happy with blake so that's great for her that's just a quick little rundown of bachelor bachelorette finale because that's how little happened she picked blake she sent justin home before her date with him and she greg a new one so that's what happened so that's my little bachelorette recap and then also i haven't finished a book but i'm currently reading a book I was reading a book last week, um, The Two Loves of Lydia Bird, and I, you know, didn't continue after like 30 pages. But now I'm reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover because Rachel Catherine recommended it, and it's incredible. Like, I'm like 40% of the way through, and I just started it last night, and it's so good. Like, I'm obsessed, and I'm so excited to recap it whenever I finish it. So, anyways, my battery's currently dying, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. I make faith and lifestyle content. And I would love for you to stick around. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I think that's it. So I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye.